How many of you know what this is? We're about to find out. Hello everybody and welcome to Hunter Gatherer channel and today we're going to work on this thing. It's empty, it's on safe, we're ready to go. Who knows what this is? I bet you there's a whole bunch of you that know exactly what this is and a lot of you probably own one. Right here we've got a Mossberg 500 20 gauge. I bought it when my son Benjamin was 11 or 12 and we were gonna try to shoot some ducks and so we picked this up for him with a threaded barrel for chokes two dot or two bead barrel but this is a youth model it's a little shorter the barrels a little shorter and I think we might be able to make this thing into a pretty sweet turkey gun this year Brielle will be uh, I think she's gonna be hunting during youth season and uh, regular season enjoy might actually use this as well. Uh, the last video I did was my Mossberg 935 12 gauge and that's what I use for turkeys. We're gonna try to upgrade this a little bit and see if we can make it work. Last year I was working on patterning this gun and it shoots way left if I remember correctly. Um, it just has the two beads right and uh, not much you can do about that. Um, you can put different uh, sights on here and maybe move them a little bit. There's some that'll bolt, that'll hook or screw onto your rail um, and you can adjust them, but we're gonna stick a red dot on here and that way we can adjust it for ourselves. I'm gonna be picking up a new choke and I've got three or four different types of uh, 20 gauge turkey loads that we're gonna try through this. But first we're gonna take a peek at it and we're gonna stick a true glow red dot sight on here. I know there's tons of different kinds of guns out there. Um, I think it's kind of like the vehicle world where you could be a Chevy, a Ford, or a Dodge, or a Toyota, or a Nissan guy, you know. Or, in guns, you know, maybe you're a Mossberg, or a Remington, or a um, Ithaca, or a Benelli, or, you know, there's so many different types. Uh, Franke, some of those. Anyways, I'm really actually a Remington guy. I've got a, an 870 that I love and I've, my wife just got an 1187, um, but the Mossberg 500 and the 935 are, are really good guns too. So it's kind of funny, my turkey guns are Mossberg guns and then my deer guns are Remington's, I don't know. This Mossberg 500 is a good, reliable gun. Um, I'd say, me personally, I think the 870 is just a little bit better, but I don't want to start a war with, uh, with the Mossberg guys. So. One thing that I really like about Mossbergs and uh, some of the some of the less expensive um, pumps and even semi-automatics that I was looking at, the receivers aren't tapped and uh, or drilled and tapped. I really am happy that the Mossbergs are, um, so you can go ahead and put an optic on there without much um, stress or uh, hassle. This video is probably going to be a pretty quick one. What my plan is is to take this True Glow Red Dot sc scope. Uh, that I had on the Mossberg 935 and I'm just going to place it on this so that we can get this thing to actually be sighted in. Uh, it was hitting to the left. We want to bring it over to, to hit dead center where you're aiming. So there's uh, four screws that are in place up here just keeping the threads clean in case you do want to put optics on. we we'll take these four screws out and we're going to put that rail on the top here. I've discussed it before but whenever I'm putting some screws in, this uh, Permatex blue thread locker is what I use. And it is uh, used to not lock the threads in completely. Um, it is, that's, that's the red thread locker. The blue is so you can uh, loosen it back up again someday if you ever want to remove it. So. Just make sure you use the right stuff. But I use this to try to make sure it locks into place. And that way we don't have uh, with um, with the recoil of the gun, we don't have screws loosening, um, loosening up. And uh, let's see if we can get this in the right spot. And coming undone. And so your optics are moving all over the place. Um, so... A little bit of 
blue thread locker. That's that's my suggestion to you. You don't have to use it, but it's a good idea too. These red dot scopes, they have just one rail that goes across. The other just pinches, but this is going to go into one of these slots. So I can put it in this one, or I can put it in this one. And I'm going to probably put it in the back one. I'm going to go ahead and put some thread locker on here too. Just a touch. On that piece. There you go. And the same on the back, but the front is a nut and the back is a screw. So I can take that out and hit those threads. And you may notice that I don't have a um, a torque screwdriver. I do not own one. Someday, I probably will. And when I'm doing this, sometimes I get a little nervous because I don't know, I don't want to over tighten and strip something out, but I don't want to go too loose to where it doesn't hold. Um, so I just roll the dice and that feels probably more than it needs, but good enough or just right, whatever. We'll do the same with the front. We're in place. So the red dot is on and we're in business. So here is the Mossberg 500 and here is the red dot on top of it. It's a much larger dot. I think it's a six or five M away. And uh, it's definitely visible. You can really see it. And it uh, it worked last year on the Mossberg 935 for two turkeys. And uh, we're gonna see if it'll work on the Mossberg 500 this year. There you have it. Mossberg 500 with a True Glow red dot scope on there. Uh, I'm excited for the girls to give it a shot. And uh, I think it's going to be a good upgrade just because we haven't used this gun since it's shot to the left. And uh, with the two beads, I just figured, why not put this red dot scope on there and see if we can utilize it. I mean, heck, maybe I'll even give the 20 gauge a whirl. Um, throw a little sling on there so I can pack it in easy and uh, maybe give it a try. So uh, the next video I'm going to be probably doing is going to be uh, patterning these guns. Got to get the new choke um, for it and uh, I've got uh, I've got these different options. I've got 20 gauge uh, Federal Grand Slam number fives. I've got Federal uh, Premium Turkey Load. These are uh, number fours. I've got Winchester uh, Double X, and these are number fives. Uh, and it's a turkey, Magnum Turkey Load. And then I have the Winchester Long Beard XR, um, and they're also number fives. So I don't have any number sixes. I do have some number fours. Uh, but those are the options. We're going to see what we do. Uh, I'm not going to pay 50 bucks for five rounds of TSS. I just, that's tough for me to do. I think we can make it happen with these regular uh, turkey loads. Uh, I've got some uh, like shoot and see style um, targets here. I think we got eight of those. And then I've got some of these fold out types. And I don't know how many is in one of these. 12. I have two packs of these. So we've got, we've got options. Anyway, that's, uh, that's going to be it. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, would you run a Mossberg 520 gauge uh, youth model? Um, as an adult, would you run the youth model um, as a full-grown person? I think my wife said she felt like it was still was a little short being the youth model. It is kind of nice to be a little compact, too, I think, um, in the turkey woods. So that's uh, a good question. Um, I know some guys do run the the compact or the youth models. Pump or semi-automatic? Would you rather semi-automatic? My 935 is semi, but it doesn't really matter. I've run a pump a long time. 
any other comments that you have, we're, we're happy to, to reply to. So, you know, 20 gauge or 12 gauge. I see some guys are still running their 10 gauges, three and a half inch. Man, that's got to whoop you. <laughs> um, but some guys are bumping down to four tens with TSS and, you know, still getting it done. So to each their own, it's, uh, I think, personal preference. And uh, as long as you're carrying a bird out, I guess it doesn't matter. But I got to tell you, if you miss them with uh, with the 410 or the 20 gauge, I think you're probably thinking, man, I wish I had my 12 gauge or the 10 gauge. <laughs> Would you run a True Glow uh, red dot? Does paying 50 bucks for a, a red dot make you nervous? Like I said, I got two with it last year, so I, I am fairly confident. We're taking off the 12 gauge, putting on the 20 gauge, not as much recoil. Mossberg 500, True Glow red dot, and we are getting ready to go um, pattern some shotguns. Hopefully you all are getting excited about turkey season and going along on the adventure or maybe you're going on your own adventure. Um, I do appreciate you swinging by and checking this out and I'm not bashing Mossberg so don't get too worried about that. We have two of them so <laughs> anyways um, hopefully these will be bird killers. Hey if you haven't uh, hit that like button it really helps us out and uh, share the video if you would and um, subscribing that's just the next step. That's next level. We really appreciate it. Uh, we're trying to build up our uh, subscribers and uh, continue to show these videos. Hopefully you're enjoying them and we're learning as we go and hopefully they get better as they come. I just want to let you guys know that we appreciate everything. Um, we're thankful for you. Uh, we love you. Um, God loves you and we will see you on the next video. Take it easy and we'll see you at the range. We've used it here or there, but we haven't used it a ton. We're going to try to turn this thing into a turkey gun.